He has been the star of stage and screen for decades, and he's showing no signs of slowing down. Oba Baba Tunde is appearing right now in CBS's SWAT, and Hulu's new series with Reese Witherspoon and Kerry Washington, Little Fires Everywhere. Welcome, Oba. Oba. Nice to have you here. I'm thrilled to be here. I love That's your good. name. Oba means king. Yes. You have a brother named a king. That's correct. Sounds like coming to America to me. <laughs> <laughs> you come from Burundi, but yes. you're actually, you have Nigerian roots, and you exactly. discovered that, and, and so you're name reflects that, right? Yes, and Babatunde, uh, it's loosely translated to mean the spirit of the grandfather has returned in the child. Wow. Aww. And what's, what's even more interesting about that is my oldest son made the fifth generation of all of the firstborn males in my family, the last five generations, born same day, same month. You're no kidding. kidding. No. Wow. What? I know. There's usually two reactions to that. It's yours, which That's is wow. Unbelievable. Or, ooh. Yo, what do you guys got going on over Somebody there? Somebody planned it somehow, yeah. I wanna, divine I wanna, intervention in your family. It's something else. Um, I want to talk about your incredible career because you have one of those faces. I mean, as soon as we saw that you were coming in, we're like, I know exactly who he is. <laughs> yeah. You have one of those faces that everybody recognizes because yes. you've been in this business so long. You've been in so many wonderful things that we've all seen. What has your career done? I mean, what has it done for you over all of these years? Well, you know what? I mean, I've been very fortunate and very blessed to still be actually, you know, functioning in this, in this, you know, to this year we'll make a half a century. It's incredible. You know what I mean? But you know what? Um, the, the thing is that, and I've been honored with uh, many awards, but I'm really, really excited about more than anything, the reward. And that has to do with how I've been able to help serve others throughout the years through the work that I've done. Uh, yeah. The good heart. Yeah. That's a good heart. Well, I, you know, we appreciate that. I, I remember the, the my, my favorite classic scene of yours in, in that thing you do at the very end, which, <laughs> is, which is so great because the message of the movie really you know, resonates, but it works because of you. Oh, thank yeah. you. Because of your performance. Thank and you. so much of what you do really comes from your heart, right? It certainly does, because I don't believe this is a, a, a job. I don't see it as a job. I see it as my calling. Yeah. You know what I mean? It kind of chose me, and I was here to do something. And like I said, you know, to be able to, um, you know, uplift, you guys know, you do the same thing. You know, that to be able to, to, to instill something in someone and change someone's life, even for a moment. Is, is in truly a blessing. Yeah, we want to put a smile on people's yeah, faces every day. Every day. Yeah. Um, you know, you've done the stage, and you've done movies, and you've done television, you've done really everything. Um, I'm interested, because you've been around so many years doing this, how has the industry changed for you in particular in your acting? Well, that's a great question, deserves a great answer. You know, uh, when I started, there weren't many people in the industry that looked like me, both in front of and behind the camera, you know, in the writer's room and so forth. So that's changed a great deal. And thusly, the products that are coming out uh, in terms of the mainstream has also changed because of that. Mm -hmm. You know, um, some good and some, you know, uh, questionable. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because, yeah. but that's with anything, you know. So I, I have been able to be one who's been able to watch the maturation of the journey of both you know, uh, what we do and the country, you know, I, 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 to give Case Point an example, you know, uh, I, um, I did a movie called Miss Evers Boys. It was the first time oh, yeah. I got my Emmy nomination, mm -hmm. right, prime time. And um, it's a great project, but um, it was a difficult subject matter, right? But the president at the time, Bill Clinton, saw that movie and as a result of seeing that movie came out and offered a formal apology from the country for the egregious wrongs that were done and uh, also gave reparations. So I feel that I've been a part of so many projects that really have been able to make change. You know, Philadelphia, sure. you know, sure. uh, I mean, the list goes on and this on. This is where art changes the world right. and because yes. they were able to expose people to things that they didn't know before and we have the power with the media to, to do that. Absolutely. Now, right. So tell me about Little Fires Everywhere. What's that all about? You know what? That's a powerful, powerful piece. You know, Reese Witherspoon and Kerry Washington. And I get a chance, I was mentioning earlier before we went on air, that I got a chance to play Carrie's dad, not just in this, but in past times too. And so being back on, on screen with her again is a joy. But you know, I mean, this is a project that everybody is doing, you know, it's based on the book. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And everybody's reading this book. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, I mean, you know, without giving too much away because it is going to be, the way it unfolds as a series is really, really special the way they've done this. But it really is dealing with some issues that I think, you know, we're in a time when women are, are moving into the forefronts of life. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And oh, they're yes. identifying themselves as power 
brokers, you know, and this deals with that on a whole nother level. And I think, too, both Reese Witherspoon and Kerry Washington, yes. the, those women in particular are really at the forefront of that. They're I the ones executive producing. They're the ones that are They're moving these the projects machine, yeah. forward. Yes. So what's it like for you to see that over, I mean, is that one of those things that has that, changed in that your is career, too? Absolutely one of those things. For, for example, I mean, in on set, there were, you know, the, uh, I think we had a, um, a predominantly female set. Isn't that amazing? In terms of backstage, you know, uh, you know the, the, the person the that was filming, the person that was the grips, the person who, the, you know, the, the, w these women carrying these camera cases, handling business, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It was really a powerful experience for me. Yeah. And SWAT is on CBS. What's SWAT about? SWAT is a great show, you know what I mean? And I play Shamar Moore's dad on that. And that is really, really Love turning. Shamar Moore. Yeah, who Love, doesn't? Who doesn't? I've not seen it. I'm sorry, i got to check it out. I've oh, not seen it. Definitely, so, yeah. Carlos. It's, yeah. a, it's a project. But what's wonderful about this is that you know SWAT is about you know guys you going in yeah. but but because they've added me as his dad there's an element of family yeah. and the dad is is ailing and the dad is old and cantankerous and doesn't <laughs> want to you know because what's interesting about it is that it, it, the father was a member of the Panther Party Oh wow! Mm. So here you have now the member, a former member of the Panther Party, and his son grows up to be law the head of a, you know, of the law enforcement of the SWAT. Crazy. So it's a really interesting dynamic, and we deal with the issues of uh, of, of family and what happens when family, because he wasn't there. Yeah. He left the family. This character. So it's really, really powerful, and and I think people are really getting into it because it's not just pow, pow, pow. Yeah. It's yeah. also heart. Well, oh, but thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you. you Great can, to have you here. Of course, you can watch him on, on SWAT, uh, on CBS, and and uh, Little Fires Everywhere is coming soon to Hulu. Yes, Hulu, yeah. yes, it is. Looking thank you for that. coming. Thank you so much. So Lisa. lovely to meet you. I love seeing your name, Oba Babatunde. Yes, <laughs> yes. Nice we'll to be have right, you here. We'll be right back. <laughs>